What is the normal duration of a menstrual cycle? How long does a menstrual period should last for? How much pain is normal during periods? What is the actual amount of flow which is normal during periods? So these are questions that I constantly face in my practice. So today, I, Dr. Sudeshna Ray, would talk about normal menstrual periods. Now what is menstruation? The beginning of menstrual periods is the end point of puberty and the beginning of a reproductive career for a woman. Once the period pattern is established through a regular pattern, the body prepares itself for a pregnancy. Now if the body learns after some time that the pregnancy is not going to happen and there is nothing to take care of, the preparation along with the bloods and tissues is discarded from the body in form of a menstrual blood flow or in form of a menstruation. This also helps in preparing for another cycle in the next month. What is a menstrual cycle and how long should it be? Now menstrual cycle is calculated from the first day of one menstrual period to the first day of the next menstrual period. The average length is about 28 days but it can be considered normal if it is within 21 to 35 days. Menstrual periods should be established into a regular pattern after about three to four years of the beginning of menstruation. How many days or how much bleeding is normal? A normal menstrual period can last any time between two to seven days. Now the flow is a very subjective symptom. It is very difficult to measure objectively the quantity of the flow. For research purposes, we say that 80 ml of blood flow, which is about 4 to 5 tablespoons of bleeding, is normal. Subjectively, you can say that two fully soaked pads for one twice a day for about one to two days can be considered to be normal. Now, if the period pattern is more or less regular, if the flow is more or less stable and the overall health is absolutely okay, then the amount of bleeding really doesn't matter. How much pain is normal during periods? Now, pain during periods can be considered normal. One, if it is, if it comes with the start of the periods or a few hours before the periods. Two, if it gets uh, relieved in the next few hours. Three, if it gets relieved with simple uh, measures like rest, fluids, uh, maybe an occasional painkiller or simple exercises. Four, if it doesn't affect your daily activities, daily work or studies. And five, if it is associated with a regular menstrual cycle. When do you need to see a doctor? If you have not started menstruation by the age of 16, if you have stopped your periods suddenly, if you bleed more than seven days, if you are bleeding very heavily, passing clots and feeling fatigued, if you are having pain which is affecting or disrupting your daily activities and work, if you have bleeding in between your periods, if you think you are pregnant, for example, you have had sex and your periods are delayed by more than five days. And if you have an irregular and unpredictable pattern of periods. Now, no discussion of on menstruation is complete without some points on menstrual hygiene. Please try and use biodegradable uh, menstrual sanitary products. Instead of sanitary napkins, you can use menstrual cups, you can use reusable cloth napkins or even tampons. These are not only uh, environmental friendly but also are less irritant to the skin. Sanitary napkins or sanitary products should be changed every four to six hours even if you are bleeding less. Cleaning down there before you change your sanitary product is advisable. You can dry it with tissues or with a dedicated soft dry towel. A thin layer of petroleum jelly or an antibiotic cream can be applied on the vulva before you wear your next sanitary napkin. This can prevent a lot of irritation. A menstrual kit, a small menstrual kit should always be there in your bag containing a couple of napkins, a few tampons, some simple painkillers, um, a hand wash gel and hand sanitizers. Disposal of the sanitary product should be done always in a hygienic way. 
empower yourself with adequate knowledge know optimum seek timely help and take care for any further consultations please uh, write to me at drsudeshnakare@gmail.com thank you subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us